What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer made to deliver you our week four battle for the NPBA here on the channel. Uh, this week we are going to be taking on uh, Juwan and the Alabama Arcanines. Uh, he's got a really, really decent team, so I'm actually kind of scared for this matchup. But I have my calcs up over here. I have his team up over here, what he could top possibly bring, and we're about to send the challenge right now. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm actually kind of nervous. Uh, letting him know I'm sending the challenge. Oh, never mind. All right. So let's look at this. Let's look at, the, let's look at this matchup right now. Okay. Let's, let's uh, find where I have his team written down. Where I have all of my prep notes for this match. Uh, I will say now, uh, I know he's probably going to watch this maybe potentially at some point, but... Uh, I don't necessarily like his team, just because it is very, very, um, very, um, what you call it, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, very weak to ice and whatnot, and I actually still have my mic on on my headset, and I should turn that off. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off, because I do, I do have it recording on my webcam, yes I do, I do have the audio on there, good. Alright, so he brings the Latios, which I have plenty of checks for. He brings the Chansey, which I have plenty of things for. He brings the Infernape, which I have plenty of things for. He brings the Masquerain, which I have more than enough things to handle. The Jirachi, and the Flygon. Alright, so pretty much everything he brought, I have a minimum of four things to handle, at least on my team. Yep, just doing YouTube intro stuff. So looking at this, uh, potential leads. Uh, he could pretty much lead uh, any of these. He could lead, he'd be a lead uh, Infernape. He could be a lead Jirachi. He could be a lead Flygon. Uh, he brought a lot of his faster mons, yeah, so that's, that's kind of nice. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Juwan says what's good, everybody. All right, so... As you can see, if you saw our team builder, uh, we brought uh, Gajil, our Mega Agron. We brought Loxus, the Raku. Uh, we brought uh, Juwan, the Arcanine. Tech Support, the Azel. T Pain, the Lando T. And we brought um, Slurp, the Gudra. So I feel like. I feel like my best lead for any of the three that I previously mentioned, would be Landorus. So I'm actually going to lead Landorus. I'm going to lead Landorus. Get the Intimidate off. Uh, he brought quite a few physical attackers, so I can get an Intimidate off on one of them. I'm actually going to, as well, drop the link in the Facebook chat. Because I can. Just in case anyone wants to pop in and visit. Let's see. NPBA. Paste. Me and Juwan are battling. Alright, so we should be good. Let me bring my calculator up. Let me put up. Actually, I forgot entirely. Let me go ahead, Team Builder. Got to import my sets. Alright, successfully imported all six sets. Good. Back into the battle. Alright. So let's go Landers. T-Pain versus Flygon. I'm going to say maybe potentially Choice Scarf. My question is, does Flygon get Ice Beam? Does Flygon get access to Ice Beam? Does not. So, If he's special, he might be running HP Ice, but I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, I can't just go for a knockoff here and actually see what he is. He is actually choice 
Uh, well, he doesn't have to be choiced, but he does just go for the U-turn, which makes me think that he might be choice. Uh, U-turn. Yeah, that's about right for just jolly damage. I do get a knockoff on this Masquerain, which is kind of decent. Uh, Masquerain is actually not holding an item. Maybe that was intentional. Um, to be honest, I don't know what this thing does. If I'm being totally honest with you, I don't know what a Masquerain does. But, uh, it doesn't look like it can do all that much to me, and it looks like even if I'm minus one, a Rock Tomb is still going to do a lot of damage. And I'm going to lower its speed. That took that really nicely. That only did 49%. He does have Ice Beam, so that was, that was, ew. But he only took 49%. What? Yo, is he fully physically defensive? Is this a physically defensive? That's a physically defensive Masquerade. I actually like that. But I am just gonna go for a Rock Team. Anything that comes in is gonna be slow. Cool. Um, I am going to swap out, though, because I feel like he's just going to U-turn. Um, sticky situation. Uh, if he does just U-turn, though, I'm free to, again, go for a knockoff. Oh, I'm going to get a knockoff on him. He's actually a salt vest. He went for a dragon claw. So is he not? He's not max speed then. He can't be. There's no way he's max speed. Because we speed tied just now. Okay. So he's a he was AV. He was a little bulkier, so he's AV. Okay, so... At this point, I'm at 5%. He's at 65%. Can I kill him? I don't think so, because I'm not running max attack. Knockoff did... 27%, so yeah, let's give him max HP. Uh, it's a little high. He's very bulky. He must be just bulky. Bulky overall. Um, he's just gonna Dragon Claw. Oh, we actually have to back out. I'm not gonna actually cut this out, because it's my bad. I just noticed that now. Alright, yeah, we're gonna back out. I'm gonna go into the team builder right now and fix it. Let me actually pull up my spread over here. Geo. Okay. Agron. Agronite. Gajil. Make you shiny, because I can. Doesn't matter what your ability is. Stealth Rock. Heavy Slam. Earthquake, Ice Punch, we have 200 HP, 36 attack, Adamant Nature I'm pretty sure, yep, and then we have Max Special Defense, okay.
mean, he's gonna change some stuff, so I will flash back to you guys as soon as the actual battle begins again. Uh, actually, no, I won't, because it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so we see, uh, so we know physically defensive masquerade is one thing. We gotta keep that in mind. I'm actually gonna write that down. Um... Where am I going to write that down? I'm going to write that down right here. I have a separate piece of paper. Fizdef Masquerade. Fizdef Masquerade. Bulky AV Flygon. Um. <clears throat> Masquerade, no item. Which was good to know. Uh, and that was all that we saw up to that point. So, so we'll see. We'll just we'll see how this goes. Um, I do apologize for this again. I wholeheartedly apologize for all of that. Um, all right. So we're gonna send him the challenge again. We're gonna send him the challenge one more time, just because we fucked up. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. Alright, so the, this way, uh, we're just gonna recreate it uh, live for y'all. Uh, it's my bad, I had my Aggron already mega It's totally my fault. Uh, you know, actually, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna stick with this. You know, I'm I'm not perfect. All right, so I laid with my landers as he let. He didn't lead with his mask right. <sighs> Supposed to come in on a knockoff. I'm just gonna go for rock tail. Fuck it. I'm just going for the rock tomb. He already fucked it up. You know, we're just, it's, it's practically a new battle. You know, fuck it. I don't care. Let's go for the rock tomb. I know he packs the ice beam. I know he's not carrying an item. Let's try this again. Well, this be life. We got this. Alright, so he should lead Flygon. There it is. Alright, so we go, turn one, we go for the knockoff on the incoming Mask Rain. He U turns. Mm hmm. He U turns as we go for the knockoff on the incoming Mask Rain. Masquerade is not holding an item, so it swallows the knockoff nicely. I go for Rock Tomb on the Masquerade. It takes about that much. It sounds about right. Gets the speed lowered, and we take the Ice Beam to eat our Yachi Berry. I actually did less than last time. I think he crit us last time. Um, he definitely crit us last time. Uh, we go for a Rock Tomb on the incoming Flygon. Lowering its speed, and then we go ahead and fire off a knockoff. Knockoff is a selfish. We actually get a crit this time. My bad. I apologize, Jawan. My bad. I'm sorry for the crit. Uh, but at this point, uh, okay, let's look at uh, versus Flygon. If he's bulky, he's got max HP. Why does this one come up with no EVs on it? Why is that weird? That's fucking weird. Alright, let's just assume max HP, max attack. Superpower would still kill. I'm just gonna go for superpower. Because he's gonna go into his masquerade. So okay, that's uh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna... No, I know I'm still fast in this thing. Let me, let me calc this, because I want to see if I can still kill this thing. 
at minus three attack. Mass Marine to give you max defense. Bold. Uh, we're at minus three. Uh uh. We can't. So I'm actually going to swap. My best swap here is to go into Juwan. He's going to roost. Okay, that's fine. So it's actually a good thing we didn't stand. Uh, I'm free to just click... I'm free to just click Flamethrower. He's going to bring in the Latios. Now, we are AV. Alright, let's figure out what this Latios is. Let's, let's try to figure out what this Latios is based upon that damage from Juwan. We have Juwan up here. We got a Latios in front of us that just took a Flamethrower. Just put OU Life Orb up there. Flamethrower... He's probably just a standard offensive set. Now, Draco Meter, if he's a life orb, will do 65 to 77%. Dragon Pulse will do 50, 41, 48 to 58, 58, but he actually has the leftovers. So actually, we do more to him than he does to us. I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse. He's going to calm mind. Oh. This is bad. Um, how do we beat this? I just keep clicking Dragon Pulse. I, ooh, this is bad. He's gonna recover. <sighs> okay, um, how do I beat that? I think Aggron potentially can. But not right now, he's not Mega yet. I think I got a Sack T-Pain. Yeah, I got a Sack T-Pain here. He predicted the Aggron switch in. Alright, now let's, let's calc this. Aggron. Mega Aggron. Against a... Leftovers Latios at plus two. With, uh, Surf. Surf. Let me get Surf. Mm. Alright, how much can Zelf do? Tech support. Now I've actually has a chance to kill from here. I'm going on the tech support. We have speed. Because I know it's not choice. Knockoff can kill. Knockoff can in fact kill. Yes. All right, so let me let me let me get these marked down. Uh, Latios kills Landerus. Right, I'm gonna just U-turn on this thing. I don't care. Okay. My play is to go into would have said Juwan, but I think my play is actually going to Loxus. My play is to go into Loxus. Then Azelf kills Azelf killed, um, Latios. Alright, so that bug buzz actually did a decent amount, but that's okay. I'm actually just going to fire off an HP Ice, because of the, he's predicting a Volt, so she's going to go out into his Flygon. Oh, he went out to Chansey, okay. Again, we still have, we still have ways to handle this. Um, I need to knock this thing off, and it sucks that one of my knockoff users is already dead, so I need to be careful. I should have gone for the Volt Switch, but I wasn't... Oh, please don't go for T-Wave. Those are toxic, that's fine. Uh, predicting the Masquerade, I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. Because I don't think he's going to stay in, knowing I have knockoff. Knowing I have knockoff, he can't stay in, actually. Yeah, knowing I have knockoff, he, he did stay in. That's kind of weird. 
Oh, he went for counter. Oh, that's it. No, this thing beats me. I, I don't have anything for a Chansey. I don't have anything for a Chansey. I honestly, I just don't have anything specifically for a Chansey. How much did Ice Punch do? 25%? Wait a minute. What? She's not bold. He's not... Why did that do so... He's not max defense. <sighs> Alright. Oh, man. I figured this is going to be my easier mat. one of my easier matches. I'm just getting all types of fucked up right now. I'm getting absolutely shit on, man. Oh, my lord. Now, let's see how Agron does against this thing. That counter is a problem. I didn't anticipate counter. I'm just gonna set up my rocks. It's my safe play right now. He can't toxic me. He can't really do too much to me. Soft boils, that's fine. <sighs> this is such an issue. This isn't even my... This isn't even my set. Why do I have Heavy Slam? Just swap Heavy Slam for... Alright, I have for Heavy Slam. I just gotta keep trying to get damage on it. It's gonna counter me and kill me. I I have nothing for a counter chancy. How much does Gudra do? I know I outspeed this thing. I just need this in debt. I need this in dead right now. Gudra does, based upon my calcs, 40 to 47 percent. We have a chance to kill. Gudra, please. If there's ever any time in the universe that I needed you to get a higher roll on your superpowers, please let it be right now. This whole battle has just fallen apart. Gudra, Juwan, and uh, Loxus need to take on the rest of the team. Yes! Alright, so Chansey... I'm gonna I'll just write its name twice because it killed two mons. Kills... Azelf and Mega Agron. And then, what do we got, what do we got? And then, um, Gudra kills Chansey. Alright, so we're at minus one defense right now, which is a problem. And he just brought in an Infernate, which I'm going to say is... A uh, physical attacker. Close combat doesn't even kill us from this range. Muddy water does a lot. But I don't want to take that risk. I'd rather intimidate this thing with Juhan. I'm gonna. He goes for the close combat. That still does so much damage. Oh my god. Alright, so. He's intimidated, so minus one attack. How much does he do to Kudra? I have nothing for this infernate now. At minus one, how much is he going to do to Arcanine? Well, actually, we already saw that, because... Actually... He has to be Choice Bandit. No, he, what the fuck? Is he adamant? 
I don't understand how that did so much damage. I don't understand. I have my set right here. Yeah, I have my set right here in front of me. Who was intimidated too? Oh wait. Take the band off. Is he adamant? No, he has to be adamant band. No, he's not banded. He's not life orb either. Is he life orb? No, he's not life orb. Is he jolly banded? He could be. Right, jolly band. Minus one attack. He got the ma he got like a higher roll. Alright, but I can actually now safely click uh muddy water. That's fine, intimidate me, that's fine. Alright, Gudra kills Mass Marine. Alrighty then. He's got Flygon out here, and that's a problem. So I have zero speed investment, and I'm assuming he does too. Flygon. If I could outspeed it, I could kill it, but I can't. So, how does Arcanine fare? At this point, I'm just kind of saving my, trying to save my differential as best that I can. Juwan, if he gets the min, he has, he has to get a min roll on his uh, outrage to not kill us. But actually, we we already saw he has Dragon Claw. Wait, if he does go for Dragon. We do live it. We just don't have speed. Do we? I don't believe we do. Landry's not sped though. So. He went for the earthquake though. That's gonna be a dead shot. Alright, this is actually not a terrible situation because I get a nice free switch out into Loxus. Now, at this point, do I think he's going to preserve his Flygon? So if I do, I go for Aura Sphere. Let me, let me, let me double check things. Uh, Raikou. Loxus. This is not going well. If he's... Max HP. He was Assault Vested. Aura Sphere does still kill, so I, my, that's my safe play. Let's go for Aura Sphere. It'll hit the Jirachi good. Okay, that does very, very little. Why? Why? What What kind of Jirachi is this? Is this a specially defensive Jirachi? It isn't. 23 to... 23.5% is what we did. So is this just a regular old... This is so... This is such a problem. I mean, he can just come in at any point with, uh... He can just come in at any point with Infernape and just kill us off. <sighs> it's about right. Gudra. 
I don't think they can kill this thing at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click Muddy Water. He's just gonna kill me with an, a Zen Headbutt. Even at minus one speed, he still outspeeds me? What the fuck? Is he Scarfed? He must be Scarfed. Alright, sounds about right. So whatever I like myself into, pretty much it's GG. I don't know what was up with me in this match. This whole match has just played out terribly. I don't know what it is. I just let everything just kind of fall apart around me, and I don't know why. <sighs> Fuck. I had, like, literally... I want you to know I built, like, the best possible team I thought I could for this matchup, and I just let everything fall apart. As soon as Counter Chancy came out, I knew I knew I was done. I shouldn't have clicked Ice Punch. I should have just clicked Knock Off. That was a safe play. Oh, man. Then I would have had the Eevee Light gone, and then no matter what I brought in, would have been able to kill that thing right off the bat, and it would have been... GG from there, because even if I had lost Azelf there, I would still had a knockoff user in Landorus. No, I would no, I wouldn't have had any knockoff users, but still, I would have had. I would have still had my Agron, which could have walled the Rachi, which could have uh, potentially done some good shit against the uh, Infernape, uh, which could have done really really good against the Flygon. That all caused me issues, but no, I just decided to fuck up. And we lose today 3-0 to the Alabama Arcanines. I'm really fucking disappointed. I'm honestly actually fucking disappointed. Oh, God. You know, whatever. I mean, I mean, few. I, I play terribly in that match. I'm not going to lie. I play terrible. But that's, you know, what happens sometimes. You, sometimes you just have a bad day. And... You move on from it. So let's look. Let's pull up the schedule over here and see. We did just lose to Alabama. Next week we take on uh, what's his name? Fucking Seb. Uh, what the fuck's his actual name? That's what I'd like to know. Sebastian Gosling, I think it is. Sebastian, yeah, just Sebastian, and uh, the. Carlisle Cacturns, who as of this current moment is uh, undefeated, which kind of sucks. He's also in our in our division, so uh, updating the document as we speak. God damn it! I'm so. I'm so salty. Oh man. I prepped so hard for this. Man, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end this video off here. I'm just really, really fucking disappointed right now. Um, if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, I'm Poke Primer. Signing off.